In today's world, it is so important to know and trust the software that you run. Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at Docker Content Trust in a Docker data center environment. At a high level, Content Trust is all about allowing software publishers to sign images and software consumers to verify them. The end result in a Docker world is a cryptographic guarantee that we're pulling, pushing, and running the images that we think we are. Great stuff. So here's the plan. We've got a UCP cluster and a Docker client. We'll enable Content Trust on the cluster, and we'll see what happens when we try and run a service from a regular old unsigned image. Spoiler alert though, it's gonna fail. Well, then we'll configure a DTR repo and our client to use Content Trust. Once that's done, we'll sign and push an image to DTR here and we'll deploy a service from it. And spoiler alert again, because it's signed this time, it's gonna work. Now, we'll see this in the demo, but Docker Trusted Registry here ships with a built-in notary server. And it's the notary server that stores all of the image signing metadata and the likes that enables this trust. So here we are in UCP. And if we come to admin settings here, we can turn on content trust. Now this is basically saying to the cluster, from now on, only let us deploy apps and services if they are using signed images. Then we can specify a list of teams here that need to sign the image. Well, for the demo, we'll say members of the SecOps team. Okay, well, you know what? If we quickly try and deploy a service here, this image is not signed, so this should fail. And there we go. So that's Content Trust stopping us from running unsigned images. Well, let's go and sign one. So this is our client machine. And if we look back through these commands, okay, we can see that we've curled the certificate from our Docker trusted registry. Then we've added it to the local certificate store and that needed an engine restart. Oh, remember, right? Docker trusted registry is also running that notary server, yeah? Okay, we've also downloaded a UCP client bundle for the Helen Henderson user. She's a member of the SecOps team and we've unzipped that into our working directory. Now, a couple of things. We're going to be using the public key here to create some delegations later, and we'll sign the images that we push with the private key here. But also, right, there's a script here that I have run on this line here, and that sets a few Docker and UCP related environment variables and the likes. Okay, we've also grabbed the notary client from GitHub. We've copied it into USR local bin, set the execution bit, and then we tested that it works. And finally, we've created a notary config file here in our home directory. And inside of that, we've told it where to store trust data like keys, where to find the notary server. Remember, that's the URL of the DTR server. And we've given it the cert that we grabbed from DTR earlier. Well, that is the prep work done. Now we need to initialize a notary collection, basically a DTR repo. Okay, so this command here, we're giving it the notary and DTR URL, and then we've appended the repo that we're going to be pushing images to. Right, now I've skipped the video ahead here so you didn't have to watch me type passwords, but we've created a new root key, targets key, snapshot key, and some notary related metadata. Now we'll rotate that snapshots key to the server so that the server can manage it and sign snapshots. Now this will be important for delegations in a second basically so that no delegation roles need the key. But with those two done, let's publish them to the server. Okay, now let's create a couple of delegations so we don't have to share keys. First up, we're adding a delegation role here to our repo on DTR, allowing it to sign all tags and this here is Helen's certificate that we downloaded as part of her UCP bundle. So this effectively ties Helen's account to the targets releases delegation role. Well, we need to add another delegation role here because any user can sign the targets releases role. So we need another role to determine if the signing policy has been met. Okay, well, they're both just stored locally, so let's publish them as well. And we're nearly there. 
Now we want to import Helen's private key so that our Docker push can use it to sign the image. Let's just give that a quick check. Good. And we've got to enable Content Trust on our client here. Now to finally sign and push an image. So we've got an image here pre-tagged for our DTR and repo. So let's push it. In fact, we should probably log into DTR first. So let's grab its URL here. And now let's give that push a try. More passwords. And that should be us done. So let's come back to DTR here. If we drill into that ENG test repo, look at its images, and look at that, all signed. So that means if we now go and create a service from it, see how we're getting confident here? This is the image we just pushed. This command will keep the containers in the service running. And let's see. Success. Okay, so the image was signed by Helen from the SecOps team. UCP was able to verify that and it's let us use it. So that's Docker Content Trust with Docker Data Center, a real differentiator. And you know what? A game changer for the security conscious enterprise. To learn more, come and visit us at www.docker.com enterprise.